One, oh, two, two, three. Hey, everybody. What's going on, everyone? That was actually our most, our most yeah, synchronized time. Yeah, we were actually synchronized. And it threw me off because it was synchronized. I'm yeah. used to it not being uh, organized. What's up? Anyway, what's up, everyone? We're here with another uh, MRE episode. Yep. Uh, a couple months ago, there was, I guess, a vote or, I don't know. Our, uh, there was something on Twitter. Rybot just volunteered us to have two uh, specific MREs today, so we've got them here. We've got menu number 24. Which is the Southwest style beef and black beans. And menu 23, which is a chicken pesto pasta. So okay. a little okay. bit of variety here, yeah, I guess, let's, which let's is nice. Go for that. We're just going to jump right in this. We've already got our water boiling. Should I turn that down a little bit? Uh, or just let it go? Yeah, just let it go. Okay. Because we're, we're going to do it twice. So. Perfect. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, let's cut so this So these open. are the American MREs. We don't have anything crazy for you, though. Although Daryl does, ha- uh, does have some secret ones lined up for, I think, in the future. Yeah, um, and, but but I think we'll also we'll try to do some... Oh, remind me. we got to do the voting thing, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. and then at the no. end of this episode, we'll pick uh, some... Uh, Everyone can vote for one that we'll do next time. Right, exactly. Yeah, we got a whole box we can box mix it here. up with some... Any, like, I've tried to order a few more foreign ones, and we'll see what the, what shows up. Cool. Because customs might seize it. That's the that's the risk you always... Because, like, when I buy it from a, a, a sort, of, sort of a U.S. retailer, they've already gone through the risk of... Of like, bringing it over. Of bringing it over. But I tried to get a really rare one, and, uh, yeah, that was a little difficult. So we'll see. If we have people traveling shows. all the time. We should just send some and, like, have, them, have people pick it up and then... Bring it back for us, like our, our I, MRE mules. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Or have some of the other offices send stuff, but I think it's a pain in the butt for them too. I'm sure, well, the yeah. problem is, as soon as you declare what it is, customs will look at it. Right, right that's right. the biggest problem. So you just lie. Is what you well, should do. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to advocate that. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> in here. Well, see, so the weird thing is that, like, when I go to other countries, uh, some countries that aren't really big food exporters. They don't actually certify some of their uh, agricultural products okay. to be imported to the U.S. All right. So, for instance, uh, Japan, because, you know, I go all the time. Uh-huh. Uh, they do not. So, the, weirdly, you can bring beef from Japan because of Kobe beef. Okay. Pork and chicken have not been certified. So, they're a little so more frowned if upon. you have anything that has pork in it, you can't bring it into the country. So, for instance, if you were to do this, and I'm not saying you should, were to buy ramen when you're overseas, for mm-hmm. instance... In Japan, you're technically not supposed to bring it back because it has pork in it. Okay. So So you say it's beef ramen, then it's okay. uh, Anyway, we won't talk about that. But okay, so right now we (laughs) that's another episode of smuggling illegal foods into the states. And it's not that it's harmful. I understand, but it's just the legal thing of it hasn't gone through FDA approval. So anyway, uh, Southwest style beef and black beans with sauce. We have a main year. Oh, I'm already to, I'll say, yeah, I don't, I don't, unless you want to put the cardboard in there. Yeah, I let's just, let's go ahead and, we're going to just stick it in right now. Yeah, got I think so. These to go through, so yeah, let's just let it. that marinate a little bit. Ah. Yeah, the trick is to flip your uh, beef, you know, mm. so that the, the sauce is really uh, marinated in it. No, we just heat it up. All There's right. no magic to this. I was, I was, <laughs> I was waiting for some, <laughs> you, know, you know, some. You really, you got to pound it. So you beat the package yeah. so that you really tenderize the beef in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then, no, but, you know, for those of you that have ever seen the episodes before, uh, we just basically go through the MREs and talk about what's in them. Yep. We try them. Um, they actually can be edible both hot and cold. So Usually, yeah. They're meant to be ready right. to eat so that you can literally eat it without any preparation. But preparing them usually makes them better. It does make, it definitely yeah. makes them better. So, yeah, uh, so yeah we're going to heat that up. Okay. Uh, we're not going to use the uh, pack this time. You want to show the pack? Oh, yeah, yeah. So Just, this is the, uh, so um, when you're out in the field, for instance, you'll, you'll get one of these packs, mm-hmm. which is basically a, a heating element in here. And you put whatever you want to heat up into this bag. You tear it, put it in, and then you pour water in here. And then uh, there's a chemical reaction with the water that basically makes this steaming hot. It's extremely hot, yeah. Yeah, and maybe not quite boiling, but pretty hot. Yeah, pretty close because, I oh, mean, there is no, there has to be, yeah, because yeah, there's, there's steam, steam, right? So there has to be boiling on some sort of molecular level. Uh, I, I do find that some countries, uh, flameless, are a little bit hotter than others. So I do sure. find that interesting. But anyway, in any case, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so next we have uh, MRE trans fat free spice pound cake. Thank God it's trans fat free. Yeah, well, I guess every, the, I, it's really weird, though, because I've noticed that they're really trying to be a lot more healthy with these meals, which... Well, seems weird. It's a counterpoint. Oh. I have a teriyaki beef stick. Okay, so, right. well, yeah. so I don't know. I'm just gonna crack into this. Yeah, this is on. probably the appetizer yeah, in the meal yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And then we have apple pieces and spice. Oh, it's sauce. double packed. Actually, that's interesting. I don't think I've seen apple pieces in a long time. The 
old MREs had them a lot. Like oh, the, really? The 90s era ones. So this is either a cigar or a beef stick. Oh, wow. I this is like just a commercial pack. Yeah, and it was double wrapped, which I thought was interesting. We so I, really I think that. what they did is that they just put a commercial one and then, into one of these bags. You know, I can just picture the army buying a ton of these. You know, it says all over, like, not for resale. Yeah. And they're like, eh, that'll yeah, be fine. We'll just be shove fine. it in here and then, you know, we'll know. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, should, I should point out because uh, a lot of people... Um, this is a big thing right now, you know, to eat these online. And uh, one thing that you should be aware of is that some are actually made for sale. So sometimes we say, oh, the civilian packed version. Um, technically speaking, you're not supposed to buy these. Right. So you'll see right here, it says U.S. government property commercial resale is unlawful. Mm. Okay, but we have some. and I think Don't ask how we got them. Honestly, I don't even know. I, I, my understanding is that they're... They're now relaxing the restrictions on that okay. so they can sell them. However, um, a lot of companies that make that, that make them for the military will go ahead and make another batch of them and sell them to because they're good for like camping yeah. or you know emergency storage. You know, right. if in case you have you know if you're going to store them though, just do it like me and don't store them in a location that could be prone to animals. Because <laughs> yeah, they, they they right yeah. now there's some rats in my home back home in South oh. Carolina. They Probably have enough cows to last them for about seven or eight winters. Yeah, so. yeah, and they're, they're, I mean, and they'll last a long time too. So. Yeah. So they just they went in there. I'm just gonna cut this. You know okay. what? Can I just break yeah, it? just break it. In there. there we go. All right, let's start. I wash okay, my cheers. hands. Yep. Cheers. Well, that's a weird cheer. That's probably one of the top weirdest cheers I've ever done. But you know, everything's actually pretty good. Oh wow, this is a high quality one. Mm-hmm. It better I than. I mean, usually the U.S. ones, I feel, um, they usually. They don't cheap out, mm -hmm. but they're not always the best either. God, this would be a great thing to have in MRE. Like, it's so easy. So you mm -hmm. just take it out of the pack, and you can just throw this in like mm -hmm. one of your pockets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, really? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, to wash drink? it down, mm -hmm. we've got, it never goes well for us, the mocha cappuccino powder. Have we and ever had good luck with this? I, we have not ever had good luck with it. Is that the only one? That's the only one. Well, what's no... an accessory pack? Oh, and one thing I'll point out is that Military ones always have an accessory packet. Um, civilian ones sometimes do not. The accessory packet is not necessarily super useful. It has a little bit of, what do you call it, ranger paper? Ranger paper, yeah. Which is a toilet paper. It has uh, salt and pepper, some um, mints. Oh, this one does have a beverage mix. Oh, it does have some Yeah, yeah okay. let, let's, uh, you wanna open it up? Yeah. I'll hold it. Well, it's hair? Oh, actually, it'll probably too. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hit or miss oh. sometimes. Oh, pour it down. All right, so since since you usually have a bad luck with this, I'll try this one this time, and you want to take the uh, you want me cranberry? To make this? Yeah, you sure. that. Good luck. I think, again, I think there's a line in, in there. When yeah. you open it, that's the line. Okay, so I have to try to... Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then it's cold. You mix it cold, right? I think so. But the um, problem is, obviously, whenever you mix something cold, though, it doesn't really, like, okay, wait, wait. break down. Purify to stand 30 minutes. Tear pouch at notches. Open zipper for hot or cold cappuccino. Oh, I'll do cold. Yeah, true. We don't really have any. I mean, we could throw some hot stuff. Yeah, I could. That's basically water. sink water, so it's probably fine. Yeah. All right, what well, I, I could boil the water in the pack. Too. <sighs> I do that every time. That stuff is like really super potent. So how much yeah. do I need? To add to 20 fluid ounces. These cups are probably what? 16? Oh, they're probably more than 16. But anyway, yeah. Well, let me think now. Uh, well, I can a, a bottle. A, see, a can of soda goes up to about here, right? Yeah, so that's, that's 12. 12. So, so probably yeah. 16. Yeah. I'm just gonna do 16 just to keep it easy. It's reasonable, right? So I, I changed the. Uh, I'm actually to give you an idea that we're not like this is not something where war gaming is doing something extravagant or anything. This is literally the stuff off my desk, yeah. and <laughs> I'm using my pitcher for something else. So I happen to have this thing that I make tea in. So it's going to taste a little like tea here? Yeah. And it doesn't have nearly the capacity. I think that's the other problem. I think we're going to be... Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Well, we may not be able to make our second round of drinks. Yeah. Well, I, so, need, I need this to be about 16 or 15, yeah, so... Yeah. Okay. And then I will... Uh, Otherwise, that will be overly potent. Like this one, I think, if I slush it, I think it will be better. Wow. Famous last words. Famous oh, it's like poor water. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Mm, I think I overfilled. That was pretty smart. Well, the the positives of overfilling, yeah, uh, is that you don't have to get chunky. Oh, yeah, that's chunky true. things happening, which will happen with this. Right, like okay. this is just gonna be a disaster. You know what? You, you, you know what? Don't you? You can just. You Why don't we do that? Yeah, yeah. You don't want any? Yeah, and I'll drink this. 
Oh, oh fair trade. Done. Yeah, no, no, no. no. It's we'll, up to you. we'll be good. We'll be good. We'll okay. Be good. I don't know if you want to make one for the next set. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But uh, how do you? Is it pretty? Th- like you won't. Splash. I mean, I wouldn't. I would maybe hold it at the lip and shake it okay, like okay, this. Because I, w- I don't think I would shake okay, weight it. Because okay. if you shake weight it, there's a good chance it opens up. And well, I don't. Think I really want to shake weight it anyway. But that's. Those commercials always make me laugh. They I, are funny. Does it, no matter how many times I see it, I still laugh. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. I was watching the Critical Role guys that do yeah. the D and D stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. They, one of them got it goes. He goes, oh, we got a new rod. It's like supposed to be like the immovable rod, but he calls it the movable rod. And the, the rest of the team just cracks up because one of them goes, it just does this. This just doesn't shake weight. Oh, this guy's cracking up. Anyway, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Uh, probably a little more concentrated than it should be just because there's yeah. like another five ounces in there. Yeah. But. All right. So all right, you enjoy that treat. So let's. You could pour it out and stir it a little more yeah, too, which yeah. actually was probably a good idea. Actually, I think I did an okay job. Let's see. Oh, it does, and that actually probably would be pretty good warm. Oh yeah. Ooh, now it's getting chunky. Yeah. All it's right. always at the end. So actually, I do remember back. You would probably stop drinking it like right around <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't have to deal with the a chunky burst in the mouth. While well, you're doing that and sampling that, chunky burst. I'm gonna. Uh, we've got some chipotle tortillas here. Oh wow. Which is interesting. So I'm guessing this. That's a that's and a, the, the beef and the cheese spread all uh, go together to make a okay. Well, let's start prepping to that, make a man. whole dish. Yeah, no. I'm gonna set oh, this down you. here. All right, uh, I'll do the applesauce. Yeah, Let me sure. Just do the applesauce. You probably put it in one bowl. And yeah, just, and we can just. I honestly, I only had one. There was only one spoon in the kitchen. I don't know where all of our spoons are in this office. No, it's around this time of day. Everyone's fighting over. Uh, I think a couple people just keep the spoons with them. Oh, uh, there's that too. But I think most of the time it's just because. A lot of people. Um, <coughs> it's lunchtime. Bring lunch. So we started. We start doing these episodes at lunch because otherwise we were consuming like a five thousand cal- calories yeah. a day because we'd eat lunch and then stuff our faces with this stuff. And but, you know. And plus, I have to. Yeah. I oh, that looks good. Yeah, this is it looks like, edible. Like I said, so it's interesting because I remember the very first round of these MREs. They were actually de- they used to give you dehydrated fruit. Right. But that was too much of a pain in the butt because you had to rehydrate it and everything. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, like you just eat it dehydrated, like a dehydrated. You could, yeah. I guess. They're just really crunchy, but then it makes you like super thirsty. So, Which is not probably not good, yeah. Yeah, so I think. So anyway, let me go ahead and uh, tilt this to the camera. So this is the uh, apples. That's yeah. actually really good. It's not it's fantastic. Like, it's not a crazily sweet uh, syrup. Do you, want, right. you want me to? I'm going to put cheese on my side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, go you ahead. want cheese on yours? Yeah. Just I'll take sure. the exact same thing, man. Just making sure. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I like to make the order your way, you know? Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so here's the um, the mocha cappuccino drink. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Somehow we had bad luck in the past. But if, you, if, you, if you don't mix it right and you get something chunky, you know, it can be bad. Well, maybe it's because I also, I actually used more water than I'm probably, supposed to. Probably, probably good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The taste is always fine, even if you get like a chunk of powder in your mouth. You know, it's yeah. just a chunk of powder. It's no and I'll open this uh, pound cake up too. So the cheese spread, you know, I don't know if you guys can see. I'll, you know, I'll kind of hold it up here. It's not magical. You know, we're not dealing with high grade cheese here. Trans fat free mm. spice pound cake. Oh, uh, you let me try take a little the, cheese, Hector. Let me take the do not eat thing off. You know? Of this. Yeah, maybe. I think if you do, if you eat it though, it preserves longer in your stomach. So you don't know, remember. <laughs> so. You know what this actually reminds me in appearance? What's that? That the Chinese MRE that that, that disgusting thing we had? <sighs> was it gross? That was not great. Yeah, the that was not the dried out. I'm, I don't know why I'm spreading this. It's not like it makes any difference really. Oh, but here, do you want to try some cake? I do want to try some cake. Yeah, I, th- I always ooh had fond memories of the desserts. So this one's on the dry side. As you can see, it just kind of broke apart. All right, well, I'll uh, take that back. Well, no, no, I don't think it'll be Bad, but it's definitely not a um, moist cake. All right. Mm, it's on the crumbly side. It's on the dry side. Yeah, it's, you have to like break it off here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like it just snaps. Right. I wonder if those two together. You know, no. you could actually, could no. you throw this in there too and then warm it up some and loosen it up some and maybe make it a little more tender? You know what I'm going to do? Just crumble it up in there? I yeah. like that. Let's try that. It's like an apple crumble. I, so oh, I, mean, I, I presume that. when people are out in the field, they're just kind of mixing it. It's, it's a mess. Like, you're usually just inhaling all this stuff as fast as you can because mm. you've got somewhere else you got to go. Okay. 
I'm you try to like we're making sandwiches out of everything. Like I wouldn't be surprised if all of this stuff just goes into this really quick and you just shove it all down. So mm. it actually looks pretty good. I guess usually if you're getting this, you're not you don't have downtime, right? Mm. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. Oh. It just depends. I mean, the army is ninety percent hurry up and wait. So like, you wake up at four o'clock. You march three hours to a place, and then you sit there for three hours. And then you start doing your training, and you're like, what, what the hell? But that's how it is. It Everything has a time yeah. and a place. So yeah. I think we're probably ready on yeah. this, right? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead. Is there any other items we need to... Uh... Not in this kit. All right. All right. It's a little warm here. So this is the uh, black bean beef. Southwest. Do you have a scissors? I don't have scissors on that set, actually. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oops. Son of a gun. You caught yourself. No, I didn't cut myself. I just tore it. No, caught yourself. Oh, I did caught myself. I thought you were going to say something else. You know what? If you hold it, I can cut it. It usually only takes one person I to do it. this. I got it. I got it. Oh. Oh, we got a scissors. Thank you, sir. Wow, those are the world's smallest scissors I've ever seen in my entire... This is like threading and needle scissors. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's exactly what it is. Oh, did I not cut, <laughs> I just cut it? just cut that one piece right there. Oh, my gosh. How did that happen? I don't know. All right. All right. This is going to be a little sloppy, honestly. I don't oh, this know. This is a lot more liquidy than I was imagining. I don't know how this is going to work. Yeah, okay. We could um, we could use like a fork. And Should just I put it like... on the plate? Yeah. Maybe yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pour oh, we have it a bowl. I have another bowl, too. Oh, you have this one This is my last bowl? one. Uh, let's pour it out on this plate. Okay. It's going to be sloppy. I mean. Wow, that's a lot more soupy than I was expecting. Maybe it's not supposed to be. Maybe this is supposed to be a cheese tortilla roll. Yeah, maybe it's supposed to be a cheese. Well, well then why not give like bread or something? Oh, so maybe they're not planning it out. Maybe because they're randomly. There's no them. way. I can say right now, as dry as these are. Yeah. There's no way that's going on here and you rolling this up in mm -hmm. any way without it just going everywhere. Okay. So here we have beef and black bean. The assumption of these things are paired together. But sometimes I wonder no if basically way. what it is is that. There's a random, like, when they're putting stuff together to make assortment, yeah. just so that there's some variety. They don't always put the same things together. I'll just go ahead and throw it in there so we had time to let it heat up. But Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Do you want to use the scissors? No, nah, I'll just do this. Okay. I haven't stabbed myself Please, yet with yeah, these yet, just... so. All right. Um, All right. I'm, I'm, well, yeah, dig in, and dig in, and I'm going to... Um, um, so these are chunks of beef. Get our next one prepped here. It looks pretty good. I mean... I'm so good. Oh, wow. It's kind of like a chili. So the beef is not in uh, cubes. Right. But actually sliced beef, probably so it heats up more consistently. Okay. Yeah, there. that's true. Um, I like fatty meat. Most of it's lean, but I'm kind of homing in on the pieces that are a little bit more fatty. So it has a combination of both uh, fatty and lean. I, I don't like it when it's only lean. Uh, well, personally, I mean, I know some people... Don't like fatty meat, so it's the other way around. And you know, too, you got to remember these are to replenish a lot of calories. So you're, no. you know, mm -hmm. fatty meat, it's not by accident if you get fatty meat in these it's, things. It's interesting because I, I had, um, mm, a couple months ago I was camping and I had a, the uh, the Russian IRP. Uh -huh. And I also had the Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian one. Both of those are extremely fatty. We got some good <laughs> stuff in here. Oh, anyway, wow. Okay, good. I'll talk about it in a second. Yeah, so try this, try this, try this. All right, let's see. It's good. So, uh, oh, and it's kind of like a cumin-y, kind of like almost like a chili sauce. There's hardly any beans in here. Actually, I was, yeah. I was expecting a lot. Uh, higher. Like, you can like almost count them. Like there's like 12. Yeah. So there are some beans in here. And are they really black beans? Because they look like. Uh, they look like pinto beans. Something. Mm -hmm. Here, take this. These are not black beans. Take your cheese wrap that I spent hours making for you. I know, I know, I know. You I'm actually going to try and I'm going to try and do this. Oh, oh, oh boy. So, well, I think if you keep the amount, if I ladle it a little bit. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a very juicy taco. That's how I like my tacos. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you do. All right. Oh, actually, that came out pretty well. You kind of didn't take the gravy with it, so that's why. But that Let's actually, see here. Really but see, like the the problem is, like, look, I just I knew that was gonna happen. Like, yeah. the bread here is so um, dehydrated, like, you can't even. Well, I find that the American tortillas. I mean, I'm glad that they tried to throw it in here. But they they literally snap in half. Like when you fold it, they ah. just break. That looks good. Like if, if somehow it would stay together, mm -hmm. that would be perfect. And you're right, you know, because the, the cheese kind of holds things together. The cheese is salty. 
Yeah. So like all together, yeah. this yeah. is pretty good. And this is this has a, a, a mild. You said it was jalapeno flavored. Uh, chili flavored. Jalapeno. Chipotle. Oh. Chipotle. I see. Okay. No, it's good. All together, I think they're good. So maybe. I wonder if you could throw the cheese in there too. Heat the cheese up. Get it kind of watery, like more liquidy. Yeah. Put that just directly in this. Stir that up. Okay. And then eat that, and then like have this little. I think you. I think if you just do this, you know, you know, take a bite of this. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably what you're supposed to do. There are no rules, but anyway, yeah, I get it. So, and that's kind of the fun of the MREs is you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how can I take what was given to me and make it, you know, into like something that tastes better? But you know, I will say that that does fit American culture because. <laughs> I feel like the other MREs, a lot of the other uh, foreign MREs that we run across, it's like, oh, you eat these things this way. Right? Mm -hmm. The Americans have they kind of throw a lot of random stuff together and you kind of like, hmm, they I'll mix it this way. I'll they probably made this way. meal and they're like, all right, we need to add more of X, right? And they're like, all right, throw the tortillas in there. Yeah. That kind of goes better with, than this with bread. Because they are supposed to be pretty well balanced mm -hmm. for you. I, well, if you're they out They have the, the nutritional field. information on them, on the outside pack. Yeah. And, you know, maybe not for us sitting around the office uh, I'll working you know, on the very strenuous what I do in the design. Oh, bit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Flip this over here. Man, I almost hurt my pinky, you know, writing all that. Yeah, I, so my wrist. Just, oh, oh, yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Anyway, back. sorry. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so. You're home like you bastards. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but, I mean, all in all, pretty good meal. Like, oh, yeah. Would definitely. Pick this again, right? That's what we should do. At the end of the episode, we should have a pick this again, yes or no, yes like or given no. our choice. Mm -hmm. I really like this. This was surprising because from the description, I had anticipated actually a lot more, a lot more um, uh, beans, a lot less beef. Mm -hmm. um, I had imagined the beef to be kind of chunky and dry, but this is sliced, so it's actually... It, it does actually not terrible beef, like... Yeah, yeah. Well, and how, it's still kind of juicy like i don't like it when it gets really dry a uh, dry beef because when it's cubed that's usually what happens right. mm -hmm. yeah i mean and so this one i know we tore it quickly but the pouch for this one tears like yeah. a bowl yeah so yeah. you can you're, you're clearly supposed to just like pouch it open bowl mm -hmm. it you know maybe you put some cheese in there you you must the cheese tortilla must be just like a side yeah a side spread you probably need extra calories in here there's corn and chilies in there as well. Definitely, it's kind of like a, it's uh, it's kind of like an American chili. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. really feel like. Um, so it's probably tomato based. Yeah, um, I mean, so I would know. definitely eat that again. Bring me a piece of that. Uh, you want to yeah. eat it yeah, straight? I'll just, I'll just have a little straight. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna crumble some more on the apple. I actually like the, mm -hmm. the crumbling this. So this is like lightly spiced. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a straight pound cake where it's like a butter pound cake, but it's kind of like a pound cake with a little bit of. Um, like a like a Christmas spice kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. There's salt and pepper in here? Yeah, right? Usually. Mm -hmm. Here's uh, some gum. Iodized salt. Moist towelette. And then uh, ranger paper. Okay. Yeah, not bad. You know, seven, eight sure. probably. Yeah. You know, like I said, I would, definitely, I would definitely pick this again. So I did run, after I said all that, I did run across a... a a drier chunk of beef. Oh, really? Just, yeah. Was it just bigger, you think? Yeah, I think so. I, I think the key is when it's thin sliced, that helps a lot, right? Very cool. All right. Well, that is menu number, I think you have it over there, 24, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, menu 24. Um, okay. Southwest. Southwest style, style beef, beef and black beef. These yeah, are not black no, beef. No, that's fine. Yeah, Lies. it's really weird because these are definitely. I mean, you can see the pinto. You can see like the little yeah. eye on them and everything. Yeah, these are clearly not black beans, but that's okay. All right, we want Let's... our money back, Army. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'd like to see that. All right, I keep waiting for that check. <laughs> I'm gonna crumble the rest so we have. Yep. We got two up. desserts here. I'm just gonna wipe off my plate a little here. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Sorry, Let's guys. That in here. We are. Uh... We don't normally eat. Well, I guess we do normally eat two meals, so I don't even have a yeah. good excuse. All right. You want some more place. cheese bread? You want me to just spray this in your mouth? The internet would love that. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you want some more of this? Yeah. I'll... 
I actually thought you were gonna do. You know, it. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that to you. Okay. Uh, usually, I charge extra for that sort of thing. So, you know, if you're good at something, don't give it away for free. Yeah, I'm not paying. Am I right, Hector? So. Wow. All right, but I'm astronauting this. I'm just well, yeah, go for it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, interesting. Mm. Okay. okay. So this is menu what? This is menu 23. Okay. Chicken pesto. Okay. Uh, so we have, I'm just going to take everything out here. Mm -hmm. and we tidy up a little bit. Yep. Ah! Um, we have. I'll take one more bite of this. Oops. Sorry. Jalapeno cheese spread. Oh. Have we had that yet? A, no, I don't. All right, so that's that's the thing. Okay. We have we have our drink container here. We didn't have this last time, mm. which is interesting. Um, oh, it's a hot beverage bag. So this is like, I wonder if there's coffee in here. Sometimes they have like little coffee. Coffee things. I'm gonna, we have the heater again, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this to the side because mm. we're not gonna use that. So we have that indoor heater. You right. keep all these, right? Don't you take these? You want these? No. Okay. Because <clears throat> a lot of, like I said, a lot of foreign kits actually don't use the, the FREs. All right. So this is interesting. I don't know if we've had this happen yet. So this comes. FRHs. This yeah. is the hot beverage bag. This one actually comes with coffee. Okay. Which we could try. I think that'd be interesting. Okay. Um, which would mean uh, we'll figure that out later. Uh, this one also comes with matches, which I don't. Have we ever had matches in these packs before? Because matches are really divisive in like basic training. They would make sure they would go around and make sure they took all of these so that you didn't burn the barracks down during basic training. <laughs> This is a real thing. Are they actually this, worried I, that- 100%, you're not allowed to have matches in basic training. So anytime anything came with matches, it was a big deal. So I can only assume that the reason why they did that is from experience. I, yeah, I'm sure, yeah, you know. What are people doing I listen. possibly- you, know, you go through withdrawals and hell for eight weeks, you know, you're, you're get out of that thing no matter what. So the matches, the uh, coffee, sugar, moist outlets. Uh, there's probably a little creamer in here, dried creamer, I think that's what that is. So this is a pretty cool little pack. So it's really interesting because having done a little bit of like uh, working on like government contracts and stuff, uh -huh. usually the contracts are very explicit about what you have to provide. Uh -huh. But what I think is that in these cases, there's some latitude. Like there's some, like I bet, is it packed by the same company? I wonder. Uh, I, you know, because we have two. This is, this is uh, Sopaco. What is that one? This one is Sopaco. Oh, oh, South Carolina. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, all so in South Carolina. Yeah. So they must just throw in this random stuff, things that you don't need all the time. Because if you kept getting matchbooks, yeah, you could build one of those. Like, have you seen the internet movies yeah. where they build like bombs right. out of the thing and stuff like that? So. But it's like on the flip side, though, you would want coffee in almost every one. I would think, right? Because I mean, like, I would think coffee is so. like the lifeblood of the army, right? Right. Although, is that something that? It, we can, minimum, you guys would probably... We had a lot of coffee stations, yeah. Right, right, right. Because I feel like that's... Well, unless you're in base training, you're not allowed to have coffee, so... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, but yeah, in training, training, yeah, we would have coffee stations like all day. We would be refilling right, these right, things. Right, right, right. <clears throat> it's actually... Okay. Kind of, but anyway. All right, so is it another cake? Is no, this is a chocolate thing? chip cookie. Oh, I'm sorry, I was... I was. Yeah, chocolate chip sorry. cookie. Okay. Uh, bonus, though, which I was excited about... Cherry blueberry cobbler. Oh wow! Okay. So, oh, oh, good thing you saved that other bowl. That's right. So we got right, that. We're set there. We have Italian breadsticks. So that's going to go well. You can imagine uh, yeah. with our jalapeno cheese spread. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and a chocolate protein powder, in case you wanted to. Um, yeah, maybe we'll take some more. Yeah, water. sure. Why not? Yeah. Just a little bit. We don't need a ton. Okay, and then um, okay, so yeah, accessory packet, the usuals. Oh, and the coffee specifically is instant type two spray dry. What is type two coffee? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Loud, it could be light, mountain roasted, medium. I have no clue. But it's a type two. But it's type two. It's type, type two. one. Type one failed terribly. They don't use type one. They don't anymore. use type one anymore. But anyway, yeah, it's spray dried. So oh, it's, man. it's kind of the inexpensive. Uh, well, I think we should try that because I'm actually curious how that tastes. Yeah, is. it's interesting because some places now are doing like the commercial. Like, uh, I've seen some of the. Um, like some of the, at least the foreign ones, uh -huh. where they actually use like the commercial package. I love, whenever I go to Europe, I love the commercial coffee that they keep in the rooms. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. You yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I absolutely love that stuff for some reason, and I don't know why. It's not even the best. I don't know, there's something about it. It's just really good. Uh, are you, so, are you going to put this in the beverage bag? Because we could stick it in there. I mean, <sighs> yeah, I think oh, that's, oh, yeah, we'll just put it in there, right? Yeah, we'll yeah. heat it up that way. Okay, good. Yeah. I didn't want to open one of those packs if we didn't need to. So, 
Yes, I will. Right, He's going to so, come back with a little water for us. Okay, so let's do... Uh, so here's your pesto. I don't know if you want to read that off to the group. That's okay. in there now getting warm. So what we're heating up right now is chicken pesto pasta, which is a chicken, a chicken breast with rib meat strips and pasta and a basil pesto sauce. Well, that's what pesto is. But anyway, go. should be oh, interesting. Oh, it's all pesto? It's always basil? Uh, let's see now. Uh, yeah, it's... Oh, I guess it's like... Um, it's usually an olive oil. So it's a basil, olive oil, Romano cheese, pine nuts, garlic, spices. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Um, Six ounces of hot water. Okay. I'm kind of glad I don't look at the nutrition thing. And when I look, actually look at it, I'm kind of like, mm-hmm. all right. Well, we won't eat a lot of the cobbler. Oh, that's the, pe- that's the pesto, isn't it? No, it's more like the sodium, man. Yeah. Holy yes, but that's anything like stored for a yeah, long time. Yeah, I guess isn't it? anything preserved. Yeah. And frozen, especially. I well, started cooking more for myself now. And that. Help me reduce yeah. my sodium intake. Cause thank you, sir. Was, thank you very much. And then I'll go and buy a, like a bag of chips. Yeah. And then Maybe that's we'll, all we'll gone. Talk about it. Yeah. Oh, um, do, do you want to start doing the coffee? Yeah. Then? So I will do. Then we can show the, how the beverage bag works. Yeah. Right? So the beverage has it's a cool little bag. It's just. Uh, oh, it even has the lines. It has on the there, lines so. on you, so okay. you'll fulfill we'll to this line, and then you would take this and you would put this in here, and then that would heat your beverage okay. up. We're going to use <clears throat> our convection oven here that we have. Convection little heater, because um, again these are these are nice to say. These are really only one time use things. Yeah. Once you use them, it's pretty much done and over with. Okay, so do you uh, want creamer and sugar as well? I or? will. Okay. Um, let's do. Well, put in the coffee first. Yeah. Will you pour this and I'll hold it to make sure that we have, sure. have an accurate line here. So yes, w- one okay. person can do this. I don't want to give the illusion that it takes two people. It's just that we're trying to do it on the camera and all this. Ah, and not spill it. Am I close to six? A little more. Oh, uh, just a, like a, yeah. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful. So we'll, oh, so we'll do that and then we'll put this in. I actually wouldn't be surprised if people just literally just put this oh, in their put mouth. Oh, put it in their mouth, probably yeah, like, and just chew Should on we do it all at once? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Because right. you want to boil it with it in there. Me. Wait, you want to that, pour that in there? Yeah. So then I'll put in the. This can actually probably come out too. Non-dairy cream. Well, let's just do one thing at a time here. All right. Creamer in there, and then I'll put in the sugar. So you're actually going to get something similar, to a lighter version of this, because this was supposed to be cappuccino, so they probably use espresso. Maybe no Splenda, I noticed. Yeah, that Splenda that, for that stint when we were all getting, it was always Splenda it was kind of weird to me. I wonder if they expect people to trade, so that's why they random they make it randomized. Uh, I was just gonna say, make sure that bag is actually like sealed properly, because. Oh, uh, the boiling will help. Brownie in motion. Anyway. Okay. All right, I'm going to take this out now. Just let it cool for a bit. Yeah, and you want to put it on... Let me grab this plate from you. Put it on sure. the big plate. Okay. So that I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to put in the cobbler. Ooh, yeah. Right? Okay. Oh, Ooh, watch out. Shoot. Jesus Christ. Watch out, Hector. Uh, You know... Running well, well, we haven't burned down the studio yet. Yeah, so we're in pretty good shape, guys. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's, like, why don't you show us our breadsticks that we've got going oh, on yeah, here. The Italian, That's pretty did exciting. Did it specifically say Italian? It specifically said Italian breadsticks. So this should be. You want to put a wager on oh, man. what's coming out here? Did you guys hear, did you hear of the, the, my uh, Olive Garden experience? Uh, no, I did not. So you, Olive Garden. You know who loves Olive Garden? Who? Halligan. Uh, oh, he do does. Know. Okay. I'll tell you that story off camera. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's weird because uh, uh, Olive Garden was doing this thing where you could win a path, a life time pass for pasta oh god i don't need to win that and so it, it's like so twenty-five thousand people like all these people tried to sign I up i heard for about this, this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 go ahead and, and go ahead. so like um <clears throat> it was arlette uh daniel pinch and myself uh-huh. we were like standing right next to each other and we we're like hammering the oh, refresh button so daniel pinch and i got it and arlette didn't get it so you have lifetime pasta no it's, it's only the i only got the for the next two months oh the first 50 people got a lifetime. Oh. And we were like, I was, so like, just I was like refreshing my page like all morning. Oh my like, God, and Arlette didn't get it? That's nope. funny. Yeah. Cats don't like pasta anyway, Arlette. Yeah. yeah. This is actually looking pretty damn good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like okay. coffee wise. So the, here are the Italian breadsticks. I broke them into, so they weren't in <laughs> stick form. It was basically a giant sheet. And I, I prettied them up by breaking them down. So. There we go. So basically what this is, is that this is the shelf-stabilized bread. Uh-huh. That they perforated. 
that they perforated they and then added herbs. They sprayed green stuff on it. To make it Italian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they added olive oil. Yeah, and I, I think they added oregano and uh, rosemary. So right. they kind of seasoned it like a... Do you want to stick. use this? I guess we should... Just pour it on the plate. Okay. I can do that. I mean, we could eat out of the... One of these days... You know what? We should do a camping video and actually like eat out of the bag. I'm down whenever you want to go camping. I... We'll take Hector. Hector can take all of his equipment. Yeah, I think we'll the only around outside. I think the only problem is making he Hector. He would can. love that. All right, you can see the oil coming out. Wow. Okay. Well, pesto is a pretty oily uh, sauce. Yeah, trash so. over there. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks like something we're gonna eat. Okay. Oh, I'm 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 more enthused. He, he's he's uh he eats this kind of stuff all the time, so he's seen the best and the worst. <laughs> I think I'm gonna chug this and have this for coffee. All right, so take some breadsticks. Don't want to miss that. Do you want to? Do you want to take a plate then? And uh, um, this was your plate, so I don't know if you you want to yeah. put it on here or do you want to just eat off? We that? can just eat off this, and okay. I'll just take I'll take this over here. Okay. And I'll you know I'll dip. I have my breadsticks to dip in here. All right. So I'm gonna just try the breadstick first. A la carp. Oh, it says shelf stabilized bread. It's just gross. It's super dry. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's right. We have our jalapeno cheese spread. <laughs> so I'm going to actually... Oh, you're making... You're making I know. Extra Whenever I get him giggling behind the screen, it makes me feel good. I'm going to heat this up for five seconds just to get it... Oh, oh I like your style. I'm going to get my coffee out of here. Oh, so yeah, the coffee yeah. actually looks pretty decent. I mean, I've definitely... I made a worse cup than this the other day in our... Oh, in the pit? <laughs> yeah, because like I wanted only half of a... Um, oh, Half of like a, a normal thing. So I used half the grounds, but I don't think it was enough to actually let the water soak into the grounds before it came through the filter. So you had really. So I had, I had dirty water, basically. Mm. All right. Type two. Only I just, I just, I just knew I was going to miss and splash this all over my leg and give you guys something really, really good to laugh about. You could probably reuse that. Not worth it, obviously, for us. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think if you use the cream, it's less... Sure. Because of the fat. All right. It smells pretty good. Do you want to smell it? Oh, wow. <laughs> it doesn't That's smell that bad. bad. Okay. I'm going to grab... Uh, cheese spread. Cheese spread. Because I'm not trying to completely melt it. Just. I got to be honest. That's better than what comes out of our machine we have. <sighs> it's not nearly as bitter. Oh, yeah. Because we just need to clean the lines in our machine. But that's actually pretty good coffee. So I... I don't mind bitter coffee because I like espresso, but you want to yeah, dry let me it dry off it a little off. bit. Oh, I may have over melted it. <laughs> it's uh, liquid oh, so now. Oh, spray in our mouth. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Mm -hmm. All right, the breadsticks were ready, huh? I will say they're better with the herb. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that it's the shelf stabilized bread, but this is probably a better way to serve the shelf stabilized bread. Okay. And they said to turn on the side, but that seems kind of. What you got going on here? Is this about to like shoot out? Oh, oh no, it looks good. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Yeah, it cooled off just enough. So I'm gonna. So here we go with the 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 uh, jalapeno uh, cheese. I believe it's jalapeno. All right, right, right. Can I have that joke one more time? Mm. But a lot of this, almost every one of these, has a staple of like a bread cheese, bread, peanut butter. Yeah. Sometimes jelly. And we were talking about this now. Peanut butter is a very American thing, and I was surprised. Some places they like it. Some places they don't really, really care for it. I love much. peanut butter. I love peanut butter too, but you know we kind of grew up on it. Like it's you like, know we also have very here. sugary peanut butter here, don't we? Yeah. Like, I, God damn, I keep splashing myself. But oh, there's also the uh, whole thing with like root beer. What's that? Like, oh, I don't like root beer. Yeah, root beer is a very herby thing. So when overseas, well, when I was like overseas, and then um, we had root beer, they're like, "What is this?" Cause oh yeah, yeah, because it's very kind of you know earthy and. Have you tried this yet? Mm -mm. All right, mm. I'm going to do a thing. Oh, wow. I'm going going straight for it. I'm going to do a thing, and I'm going to put this. So this is probably spoon spoon stuff we should be using here. So the cheese spread with the jalapenos, the jalapeno is very mild. Mm -hmm. There's just a barely a touch of heat and not a very strong jalapeno. It's flavor. all flavor. Yeah. They're not, you know, they're not putting spicy stuff yeah. on these. Yeah. I think because lots of people have to eat it. So right. They can't risk that. You know, not terrible. Okay. Not terrible. It's like if you got like a store-bought pesto. Um, sure. I will say, 
that the problem that I've always found with these rations is that the um, they can never have the noodles quite firm cooked. enough for my liking. Okay, they're like always over salt. Well, we also had it in there for a while. I wonder, but it's cooked no, already. No, I in think there, it's right? already pre cooked. I think there's no way. I think there's no way to avoid it mm -hmm. because over time, it's the it's whatever's in it. The sauce is just going to seep in. Sure. That's actually not bad. I'm going to turn this off now. Yeah, yeah. It's certainly not al dente. Um, I have had some noodles with a little bit more bite to it, but it's not bad. I will say heating up the cheese spread is brilliant. Never thought to do that. You know, I think there's enough um, room in the FRH to stick that with mm -hmm. the entree. I think oh, you can sure. even do the entree dessert and like the cheese sure. thing. Sure. You know? Well, I was just noticing that it was it was a little too um, solid, so I said, "Oh, a little heating will make that softer." Right, let's try this on the fly here. So it's very much like a pesto with your very strong basil and olive oil mm -hmm. taste. A little bit of garlic in there, but not much. Um, I think they're trying they're trying to not. Because it's such a diverse group of people have mm -hmm. to eat this stuff. They can't go too far in one direction. Sure, sure. I mean, this is certainly still very American food, right? Right. Um, so it, and it's funny because, like I said, that whole Olive Garden thing, right? Because it's like the breadsticks and like the pasta. Right. Pasta, they're really going for that. I think because before their Italian dishes was like spaghetti sauce and mm. stuff like that. And so this one, they're not trying to do a, a more varied menu get a few more things in there. So I give them credit for that. You gotta think too, like, if you had to eat this one day mm -hmm. and then eat the Southwest the next day, that's not terrible. I mean, no, in terms no. of mm -hmm. having a variety. Mm -hmm. I think after a while, you just get tired of like, the bread's always the same, you know, yeah. and like the, the the food itself is kind of hard to eat after a while. And it definitely messes up your stomach a little bit after a while. Oh, does, I, yeah. I've heard that before. Yeah. And um, I think because I'm only doing it like periodically, I've. I always thought, well, that it's not. Yeah, it's we, never been a problem for me, but I guess when we've done like three or four days out on uh, these things, you know, yeah. it, gets, it gets a little, it gets mm -hmm. a little dicey. But you also, if you're not, you also have to be careful because if you're not expending all these calories, you definitely don't need it mm -hmm. three or four, mm -hmm. you know, twice a day, mm -hmm. three times a day is insane. So, yeah. whatever activity you're doing, you got to make sure that you know you're getting rid of some of the calories from these packs. Okay. So anyway, yeah. So that that whole. Um, Olive Garden thing is kind of funny. So I'm going to be eating a lot of Olive Garden. <laughs> when does it start? Like late September and it lasts for like two months. That's crazy. Yeah. It was it was really funny because I was just thinking, man, if you win that Lifetime thing, as long as they stay in business. Do you need Lifetime Olive Garden? No, but they, the have, they usually have a cap, don't they, too, on how much you can spend? No, what it is is that it's, there's, it's a specific dish, but it's the all-you-can-eat pasta. So it's like... You combine a pasta with a sauce and a topping. Oh, so and you have some variety. And you, yeah, and then you get the um, salad and breadstick. Why am I advertising? I don't know. Olive anyway. Garden sponsors us at Warden yeah, in case yeah, you guys yeah. didn't know. But so. there's not even one anywhere near the office. The, there's the not any, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a real pain. But it, I just thought it was funny because I thought, oh, Lifetime, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Well, so what do you think? This one or the Southwest? Oh, Jim, we did the dessert, though. We oh, gotta, we should do the dessert. We have cookies. And the collar, mm -hmm. right? And I know that you were having a lot of trouble with this, but look at this. Look at my bottom. Yeah, it looks pretty good. No, not my bottom, but the bottom of yeah, this. Yeah, I got you. I've seen your bottom. Plate yeah, I'm I know sure. what it looks yeah, like. Yeah. Um, there's also a protein drink. I'm talking, if you want to oh, yeah. go around Tuesgies and no, just really get, no, get, get, no, get your... This, uh, this is like a huge amount of calories right there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I think we've had the cookies before, so I know kind of what we're getting into here. And then you want to get the bowl out for the uh, sure. cobbler? That I'm looking forward to. Sure. So here we have a chocolate chip cookie. You know, that's a very American thing, right there. Cookies, a you know, loose term there. It's like a well, chocolate if you're from another country, you might call it a biscuit. Yeah. We've had this argument with our Australian coworkers oh, yeah. all the time. It's like, is it a biscuit or is it chips or is it fries right. or, is it, uh, or crisps? And even between like the Commonwealth countries, they don't all agree to all of that. <sighs> either. It gets very confusing. I'm gonna stack these dishes. Yeah, I think we're I think we're done with that. Cobbler's hot. Cobbler is hot. So uh, one thing I will also point out is a lot of these sauces, although I said it's a little bit loose, um, it's still pretty saucy. And I think that's so that you can eat it sure. and while it, you're on the move. Like you don't have to, I mean, it's much better heated. But if you were in a situation where you're right. on the move, 
you know, maybe you're in the back of a vehicle that's bouncing around all over the place. You could still tear it open and, and eat it. You can always it. let it heat and back, heat back or cool back down a little bit to taste if you wanted it a little thicker. It's really funny because I, I was reading about the, the time before the, the flameless rash, uh, uh, ration heaters were included. And it, it was some interesting guys who were talking about what they do. Like if they were in like Gulf War, they would like bury it in the sand. Uh-huh. Or they would leave it on the engine block okay. of, of their vehicle. And that would be enough just to heat it up? that would be enough to heat it up. That's crazy. We actually got some sort of like cobbler-like. Wow. See that little chunk there? Okay. I thought it was just. All right. It's, it's Let's show it to careful. the camera here. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So we've got a cherry blueberry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, cherry blueberry. Cherry blueberry, yep. Cobbler action. And you can see there's like a little square in there. It's probably just dehydrated bread that they threw in there to make it have like cobbler-esque texture. Oh, it's like, it's like sliding around in there. Um, but you know, okay. it's a thing that they did. Okay, let's try it. But this thing has, so I was just thinking, this thing has a lot of stuff in it, I feel like. Yeah, I feel Compared like to the first one, this yeah. one has two desserts. Oh yeah, that's true, because it has, it oh had, well, you know, the other one had the apple. Uh, and just the, the apple. And the pound cake. Oh, and the pound, okay, all right, well. Yeah. You know, maybe it's not too crazy then. Okay, but let's see. I guess one is supposed to be fruit, although this looks like it's more sugar than fruit, but okay. <laughs> That's probably why it was so hot, too, that sugar heating up in there. Oh, wow. Oh, I want to say this is the Spice Punk. Is it just, just reused? That's amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. Actually, that's... I have to say, that's pretty darn good. I mean, so, it's not like a cobbler in a traditional sense, but we're a clear separation between the crumble and the, right. the inside. But this one is basically a piece of uh, cake that's just soaked in the sauce. It's, that's pretty good. I'm not and, gonna and, lie. And definitely heated up. That was the right call. Oh yeah. Because heated up. This is this is this is. Man, yeah. all you need is a scoop of ice cream on this I thing, and you'd be set. <laughs> I didn't see that in there, but there may be some ice cream. <laughs> I bet they're working really hard to figure out how I to do that. I bet you they're not. <laughs> well, come on, man. Ten years for the pizza, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. We, we reviewed the pizza at one point. That was after years and years of, yeah, that was not. It was about a fiver. Yeah. I, I think they still have problems with breads. I think breads and sure. anything doughy is very difficult to preserve. Yeah, this is pretty damn good if I see so. See mm. so myself. Hot. Interesting. But. Because the past couple of, uh, <clears throat> I shouldn't even let my mouth full. Past couple of times, we've actually had cookies that were more like the soft type. Mm -hmm. And this is the hard. Yeah, it's like very, the, very crisp. Like yeah. you can see, like it, you just snap it almost. Yep. Yeah. And then stuff goes everywhere. But this is definitely the hard type of cookie. So I thought maybe they had completely gone over to the soft. soft so that side. that has less uh, crumbs. Come to the soft side. Yeah. No, these are good. But I like. I actually kind of. I'm torn between the two. Mm -hmm. I think the, the only problem I don't like is when it's a little too undercooked for the, to make it soft, they make mm -hmm. it like raw, almost raw dough. Mm -hmm. So this one is nice though. Okay, okay. Mm. So I have to say these two minis are quite nice. Mm -hmm. Both of them were really good. I um, think I like the pesto. I, I like the main meal. I like the beef and uh, beans better. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is a better pack, I think, because that's incredible. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. The, I mean, the, the pasta stuff's doable, you know, yeah. but it comes with coffee, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, what did um, you think of the breadsticks? The breadsticks were <laughs> disgusting for, as usual. But I'm not disgusting. They're just the bread. They're the dehydrated bread. Yeah. But they're better with a little bit of the herb yeah, that they oh, had they in there. And, and then the, uh, the cheese bread. Fan of the jalapeno, jalapeno cheese bread. So I like all the stuff that comes in this pack better. And if you could just, like, sub out the... Uh, the beef with this one, I'd probably like, yeah, that's that's perfect. It's a so good meal. I came to a different conclusion. Okay. Because I actually happened to like, I, I thought that the, the beans and um, uh, black, I really was hoping it was actually black beans. Mm -hmm. That felt like a, a pretty good chili. Like, I don't know why they didn't call it chili for whatever reason. Um, they call it Southwest style, which mm -hmm. is just kind of obscuring it. I thought that overall this meal was like better. Like it, it, it was weird because they really tried to make it feel like a restaurant meal. Sure. Which I thought was very interesting. Okay. Because their typical thing is, oh, let's just throw some stuff that someone would have in their dorm refrigerator into right. a bag. 
and you're going to eat all these things and there's no thematic connection. Sure. What I really liked about this is that you had a pasta dish. You had the breadsticks. I mean, sure. Okay, I mean, whatever, right? The breadsticks. Because you that's clearly not cheese. one they're throwing at other. They're not throwing breadsticks and other things. Yeah, especially this Italian breadstick right. thing. And then you had a, a piece. This really felt like like a meal that you would have like at you know, right. going out or something like that. And so I like that. I like that. The other one was pretty good, I have to admit. And I feel like the key to, again, I feel like this is the key is to actually put the cake into the uh, fruit. Sure. Yeah, that would have been good. And that helped. And then you could have heated that up. You could have Oh, yeah, if we had heated that up, then it I think that would have also good. been the you winner. Slap it, you could have slapped it on top of that spice yeah, bread yeah, and let yeah. it soak for a little while. It would have been good. So I think that there, so I think this is the typical thing that the theme with American meals is that you kind of have to, Take all the components. They're not like the set thing where, oh, here's your pate and here's mm-hmm. your crackers for your pate, which is your appetizer, right? And mm-hmm. then here's your main course and then here's your dessert. I think a lot of the American meals are a lot more flexible in the sense you kind of just mix them together mm-hmm. like however you want to do. Like, oh, I'm going to just add the breadcrumbs straight to the sure. to the pasta or to, to, the, to the chili or whatever and then, uh, you know, do it that way. But overall, yeah, I say that both of these, these are menus, pretty good meals. I mean... Usually I'm a little down on MREs. I hate to say it, but yeah. um, these have been really, really good. Yeah, I, I, I feel like maybe, maybe they're also trying to improve the quality a bit. Like mm-hmm. I felt like, I felt like thought went into this, mm-hmm. which was mm-hmm. really nice. And that's not my typical experience. This has been a pretty good episode. I mean, yeah, I, I, oh man, now I come can go back as, to my al- desk. as always. Ask us in two hours how we were doing, and we'll let you know. And um, tune in next time. And thank you so much. Yeah, and, and thanks for thanks for watching. Yeah, we really on. appreciate it. We're out.